Shabbat Shalom. The Torah portion from this week contains my very favorite segment of Torah of all time. This week we read Jacob's story from Parshat Vayetze. It is the perfect story for anyone on a journey, which basically means any of us. While we may not be on a physical journey, some of us remaining in the same place for years, if not decades, there is that all too true meme that life is a journey. And we might poke fun at the oversimplicity of that statement, but we also know that it is wildly true. In our story, Jacob leaves one place and he sets out for another. And the rabbis explain that the grammar of this sentence means that Jacob knew where he was headed. He had a direction for himself. But in between those two places, something happens to him. So it is with us. We leave one thing behind and we set our sights towards something else. We have a plan. We think we know how to get there, and yet most often something happens on the way. In Jacob's story, he gets to a certain place in Hebrew, Makom, and he discovers that the sun had already set. Maybe he was lost in thought and he all of a sudden realizes that the sun had gone down. Or maybe, like some of our rabbinic teachers tell us, there was something supernatural that occurred so that when Jacob arrived at this specific makom or place, the sun immediately went down and Jacob had to let down his defenses and lie down and sleep. So Jacob lies down, a rock for a pillow, and he dreams a dream of a ladder stretching from the earth all the way up to the sky. And there are angels going up and down on the ladder. God speaks to him in the dream, saying that God would be with Jacob and that the promise made to his grandfather Abraham and his father Isaac would be fulfilled. Jacob awakens from the dream and in shock and awe, he exclaims, Achain, yesh Adonai makom hazeh, va'anochi lo yadati. Surely God is in this place and I did not know it. How many times do we realize after the fact that something powerful has just happened and we had no way of knowing that beforehand? That dream changes the course of Jacob's life, changes the course of his future in profound ways. We can't know why we're forced into a different plan from what we imagined until after it happens to us. Now that's not to say that everything happens for a reason, but that looking back at the events of our lives, it is sometimes possible to determine an important reason for a detour in our plans. Human beings plan and God laughs? Well, perhaps. But sometimes we just don't know the power in a moment until it happens to us. Imagine a world in which there are invisible ladders everywhere, on which angels are moving up and down. The rabbis understand that these angels might not be what we think. They're going up and then down, not down from above and then up symbolizing that they are, in fact, from right here. You might be someone's angel, rising up on a ladder, waiting for a person to need your counsel or maybe even just your presence. And all of a sudden, that moment is presented to you. It could be as simple as running into somebody at the grocery store or, and changing the nature of their day by your conversation. Or it could be the phone call that comes in a moment of need. It could be intentional or unintentional, but looking back, we see that this particular moment had an impact on what would happen next. If we remain open to these ladders becoming visible, making themselves visible to us in a moment, we know that we will have holy moments, some of which we're Jacob, and in some of which, we're an angel. It's easy to be frustrated 
when plans are forced to change, even big plans, things that we counted on in life. But take a breath and know that sometimes this is nothing but an opening to the greater possibilities of your life and the world. Shabbat Shalom.